Hi, my name is Tyrus Cabrera. I'm the service center manager for Nixon. And we're gonna talk about how to size your brand new Nixon watch. So first we'll take the watch out of the box. Try it on to see if we need to pull out a link or add in a link. That's a little too tight for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add on a link. The links will be featured inside the box. There's a little pull tab right here. So if you give that a pull, the whole case will pull out. And then right underneath, you'll find a pack of links. And they come in sets of either one to three, depending on which model watch you receive. This watch came with three links, but I only want to add in one. So I'm going to start the process by just tapping this apart into one link. You'll find on the back of these links there's arrows, and the arrow is the direction that you're going to push the link pin out. So we'll find the arrows, and we'll place the arrows facing down in our link block. And then we'll take our tapper tool. Alright, so we'll push that link pin out. It should slide right out. And you can separate one link from the trio. Now we're gonna take this link and connect it to the watch bracelet. So we'll open up the clasp and we'll repeat the same process. You'll find there's sizing links on the bracelet that have the same arrows that are featured on the links. And we will tap out one of those links. So we'll place the whole bracelet in the, the band block. And we will push out one of these link pins. So once the link pin is pushed out, you can slide it out and open up the whole bracelet. And we will connect the link that we just removed from the trio. We wanna make sure that the arrows are on the same side. And when we drive the link pin back in, we wanna go against the arrows. So if we drove the link pin out away from us, we wanna push it back in towards us. And when you look at the link pin, you'll notice that one side is narrower than the other side. And on the, on the thicker side, there's actually a little rivet. So that's gonna be the side that you drive in. So we'll start it by hand here. Weave the, the skinny side of the link pin in. And then once you get it started by hand, then we'll tap the rest of it in with the hammer. And when you're tapping the link pin in, uh, you wanna use the softer side of the hammer. So that way you don't mar up the side of the, the bracelet. So we'll drive that in until it's flush. And then once it's flush, we wanna make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So we'll give it an additional tap with the, the link pin tool. So we'll just line that up on there. Not too hard because you don't wanna drive it out the other side of the band, but you just wanna make sure it's nice and secure in the band and it doesn't slip out of there. So now that we've added one of the link pins in, we'll add the second link pin in, which will reconnect the bracelet all together here. And then we'll just repeat that same process. We'll tap it in with the soft side of the hammer. And lastly, we'll give it a finishing touch with the driving tool. Now if you just wanna inspect the band, Run your fingers down it, make sure that the link pins are flush and they're not sticking out of the band. And we will try on the band and see how it fits. So the fit is gonna be up to the individual. Everybody has their own preference, whether they like it a little tighter or a little looser. Um, I don't like mine so loose that it flips around my wrist, but I also don't like it loose enough to where there's a, a whole lot of play. If you do find that you need any additional links or advice to how to size your particular watch, feel free to contact our customer service team. They'll be available via phone and email Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Pacific Standard Time. And we'll be able to kind of help you out, troubleshoot you over the phone or via email and get your watch back up and running for you.